Hello students, a very good morning to all of you. My name is Jyotibisht and I welcome you all to the session on percentage. So basically percentage is very very important chapter from, uh, from any exam point of view and this is actually the base. Once you understand the concepts of percentage, you will be able to understand other topics as well like uh, profit and loss, simple interest, compound interest, all these topics are based on percentage. Like in any question you can face any values in terms of percentage. So once you know the percent, that what is percent, then you can easily understand other topics, right? So, well, uh, before doing some questions based on percentage, you must understand what is percent. See, percentage, per, per cent, cent means 100. So per cent means per 100. That means it is equivalent to 1 by 100. So whenever there is a percent, this sign is present after any value, then I can say, see, if it is written 2%, then I can say it is equivalent to 2 by 100. That means it is equivalent to 1 by 50. After simplifying this, we will get this value. So, if it is written 20%, 20% is equivalent to, if I convert this percentage terms into fraction, I will get 1 by 5 as the value. So, in order to understand this percentage, you must know certain percent values directly so that will be used to solve your question. Like 10%, 10% you should know that it is equivalent to 1 by 10. Why? Because 10% means 10 upon 100. So after simplifying it, I will get 1 by 10 as the fraction. Right? 20%, 20% means 1 by 5. 30%, 30% means 1 by 3. Or I see, 1 by 10 means 0.1 percent, right? I can also like say this, this is equal to 0 0.1. 20 percent is 1 by 5. 30 percent is 1 by 3, right? In order to say that 1 by 4, 1 by 4 is what? It is 20 percent, sorry, 25 percent, correct? Well, now 1 by 6, 1 by 6 is what? It is 16.6 percent, correct? 16.67, then 1 by 7. 1 by 7 will be equivalent to 14.28 percent. Similarly, 1 by 8, this will be equal to 12.5 percent. So, whatever percentage values I am getting, it is equivalent to this much fraction value. 1 by 9, 1 by 9 is equivalent to 11.11 percent. Then 1 by 10, it is what? It is 10 percent, correct? Then 1 by 11, it is 9.09 percent. See, these values 1 by 9 and 1 by 11 are interrelated to each other. 1 by 9 is 11.11 percent and 1 by 11 is 9.09 percent. So once you know these values, you can further simplify it. Like see, here it is written 1 by 9. So if in in some questions, if uh, a value 2 by 9 is present, so you know that 1 by 9 is 11.11, so 2 by 9 will be multiple of this. That is uh, twice of 11.11, that is it will be equivalent to 22.22 percent. So once you know these values, if you get the multiple of these values, you can you can easily convert these into fraction, sorry, into percentage, okay? Or you get some values in terms of percentage, so you, you can easily convert them into fraction value, correct? So now we will do some questions based on percentage. See, first question says, if 15 percent of A plus B is equal, is equal to 25 percent of A minus B, then what percent of B is equal to A. See, 15 percent of this is equal to this. Now, 15 percent and here it is written 25 percent. So, definitely 15 percent means 15 by 100. So, here 100, 100 will cancelled out. That means this percentage, percentage sign will change and this will, this is further simplified 5, 3 is a 50 and 5, 5 is a 25. That means what value we will get now? It will be equal to 3A plus 3B equal to 5A minus 5B. After simplifying it, we will get this expression. So, on further simplifying it, I will get this will be equal to 2a times and this 3b will go to the right hand side and this will become 8b, 5 plus 3, 8, correct? That means a is equal to 4b, this expression I have got. Now question is saying what percent of b is equal to a, correct? So I know that a by b it is equal to 4 by 1, what percent of b is equal to a means that in the denominator b's value will come and in the numerator a value will come multiplied by 100. Now, if I say that A is 4 and B is 1, so I can say this will be equal to this, right? So, what percent it is? So, I can say A is 400 percent of B, correct? So, my answer will be 4, understood? Now, see next question. 
in a school 40% of the students play football and 50% play cricket if 18% of the students neither play football nor cricket the percentage of the students playing both is i have to find out that percentage of the students who play both both football and cricket correct so see first of all we'll understand it through venn diagram suppose this shows all of the students it says 40% of the students play football so first of all i'll draw two circles first circle denotes football playing students and second denotes cricket playing students correct now it is saying 40% of the students play football that means this whole circle first circle whole this including this common area it is 40% correct and this circle it denotes 50% area now it says if 18% of the students neither play football nor cricket so i have to find out the percent of the students playing both so playing both will be denoted by this area because this area it is common part of football and cricket that means this shows students who play both football and cricket now i can say that if i say that if i take percentage of it that is 40% plus 50% so if i add these two so this common area will be added two times correct one one area it is added once in this this comes into for actually this part is common in the first circle as well in the second circle so if i add these two areas this area will be added two times correct so that means i have to subtract this area once because it is added two times so let this area let the percentage of this area that is student playing which denotes student playing both football and cricket let it be x percent so i can say 40 plus 50 minus x percent correct right so this plus 18% of the students neither play football nor cricket so if i add these students who neither play football nor cricket now this 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 is the total this is the sum of the total students and i know that total will be what 100% so in this way i can say this is the students who play cricket this is the students sorry this is the students who play football and this is the student who play cricket and this is the student who play both so because i am adding these two so this common area has been added two times that's why i have subtracted this area once okay plus this 18% shows those students who neither play football nor cricket so this adding all this it will be it will now give the value of the total students and total students is 100% correct so from this i can easily calculate the value of x so this will become 40 plus 50 90 and 90 plus 18 108 that means 108 percent minus x percent is equal to 100 percent correct so in this way i can say x will be what the value of x will be 8 correct so that means the percent of the students playing both is 8 percent so fourth will be my answer all right now next third question says if 30 percent of a is added to 40 percent of b the answer is 80 percent of b so what percentage of a is b see here it is going what percentage of b that means i now i have to find out this value that is see of b of a of b what what does it mean percentage of a whatever value is written after o it will be written in the denominator and it is saying what percentage of a is b so that means b will be written in the numerator correct and multiplied by 100 so that value i have to find out so once i know the ratio of b and a b is to a i can easily find out the percentage where so question is 30% of a is added to 40% of b the answer is 80% of b that means 30% of a it is added to 40% of b right and this is now equal to 80% of b so if i take this value to the right hand side what i'll get i'll get 30% of a equal to 40% of b right that means percentage percentage will will get will get cancelled zero zero will get cancelled and i'll get 3a is equal to 4b that means again i have got the value a by b is equal to 4 by 3 but here the value is b by a that means reverse of this 4 by 3 so what will be the percentage of a what percentage of a is b i'll say this is 3 by 4 into 100 so this will get cancelled so i'll get 75% right so b is 75% of a correct so my answer will be fourth now next 